hi welcome back to my channel um, I think today I'm going to do um, some trash to treasure things that I would normally discard throw in a trash can um, junk mail or packaging um, I think I'll do just a couple of videos of you know altering them and um, you know turning them into some some type of treasure this is a envelope and um, nice large one um, these folks send me this junk mail basically almost every day, AARP, and um, I'm not ready to admit that I'm old, so I don't want their little 25 cent off of movie ticket, I don't want their card, I don't want anything from them, so every time they send me books, magazines, whatever, it goes in the trash. But this one I'm going to turn into something much, much better. Um, I did coffee dye this and um, I kind of cheated because I sprayed it now this has um, tea dye but I made it extra extra strong so it looks like coffee dye but um, I did use coffee dye on this originally and I just sprayed it and I had let's see some book pages also and I sprayed them and then I just kind of took them and kind of did one of these numbers, patted them, flipped them over, and let them dry. Um, you know, sometimes, well, it does take a lot of times to do the coffee dyeing. And I did a bunch of coffee dyeing last week, tea dyeing, coffee dyeing, and avocado dyeing. You know, by the time you have to boil everything and then dip them and then put them in the oven and then I iron all my pieces... So this is sometimes when you don't have time to do all of that. I keep it in the refrigerator um, just so it won't go moldy. And um, that's how I cheat. So um, I'm going to glue, glue some, some scrap paper and some ledger paper. I think what I'm going to do is this is going to be the front. And then I'm going to flip it over. It did come apart, so I'm just going to glue the sides so you'll have a nice big pocket to put stuff in. And then I'm going to take the book pages and glue them to this right here. And then this will you'll be able to journal on. This you'll be able to journal on. And then the back you'll be able to journal on. Um, I like when I make my journals to give you as much room possible. Um, I do like decorating, but I, I really do like giving you enough room. So let's get started. Oh, I do have to cut it because it is a little bit large. So I think I'm going to cut it down to um, eight and a half inches. And let me do this first. Let's see. Get this out of the way. that's a good size it's it's nice and wide and it's yeah eight and a half is good, good enough and I'm going to also cut the pages down too because they're a little large I never seem to cut anything straight I don't know what it is that's really crooked better and let's see I still need to take a little more off right here perfect not really but <laughs> it'll do so 
what I think I'm going to do is this little thing right here, the flap, I am going to glue the book pages. I'm going to sandwich them in. I'm going to put one on the front and one on the back. And my pages seem to be just a little smaller than the, um, than the envelope. I'm going to have to take a little bit off. Flip it over, and I'm going to definitely cover up the AARP. And I am going to sew it, so it folds nice. I want to cover the window here. Um, I guess it had plastic in it or cellophane. I don't know. I'm not really sure. But um, I took some coffee dyed ledger paper and I did use a little stamp. It's just a cute little house, two houses, a couple of houses, and a little tree. And I thought that would look cute sticking through. And I just bought this glue. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe it's just me, but every time I open up a brand new glue stick, I always lose the top. So I just found it this morning after a week. This I'm going to use as a pocket, so I don't have to, um, you know, decorate the inside or anything like that. Just get these little ends glued down like that. Yeah, I think that's good. Then I'm going to glue the sides. use the glue stick because I am going to sew. So we're just going to glue the sides right here. And see this will make a really large pocket.
trim up any hangover. A little bit there. And a little bit here. Now this is a little um, scrapbooking paper, and I just tore it. I did ink up a couple of them, so I wouldn't, you know, make this video too long. And I think I'm going to glue it down. This little piece down. I did um, use some um, Tim Holtz vintage photo and went all around um, to darken the edges. And this, let me see, all the Emperor is from Tim Holtz Ideology Emperor Pack. I use some of the pieces here. This and this is from the scrapbooking. Uh, the scrapbook paper I'm using is We Are Memory Keepers and this paper right here. I don't know how to say that. I ain't gonna say it. Block D papery. I don't know. But anyway, it's really pretty, um, vintagey, kind of um, farm circus. Oh, it's got everything in here. It's really pretty paper. And I got this at AC Moore, of course, on sale with my 40% off coupon. Always. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of, let's see, music paper vintage. I'm going to have to be careful with this. This is really crunchy. Some of the vint uh, vintage paper um, I get from, you know, flea markets or I go to this one uh, thrift shop to get a lot of my stuff. And um, sometimes it's just, it's just too, too old and too crispy. So uh, I only use the music paper for like collaging. Because you really couldn't put this in a book and fold it. It would basically crack. Little piece here of scrapbooking. I just want to ink it up. I want to put it underneath that piece. I think. Because what I'm trying to do is just um, just cover up any writing on here. It would be good if I put some glue on it. did ink it up, but I'm going to just put a little bit more, especially on the edging. Stick it right here. My glue stick is extra sticky because it didn't have a top on for a week. And I got one of the little um, Tim Holtz. I finally broke down and bought some of um, his little vintage people. So, 
gonna use this cute little boy here. I'm gonna set him right here like he's sitting on top of the ruler. This is cute because this is a little uh, sign and it has, it's about uh, school and uh, grades and and then you have the um, ruler here. So I thought that was kind of cute. All right. Let's see. Looking for another little piece I had. I need to cover that up. Hmm. I'm not sure. Like I said, I did um, coffee dye and um, avocado dye. And I just want to show you how pretty. Um, I took cotton fabric and I tore it and I frayed the edges. And then I just kind of balled it up and then I stuck it in the avocado dye and it came out. So pretty and I'm not a big pink fan but the avocado pink is so it's just gorgeous and I'm going to stamp on them I might um, put some on my Etsy, Etsy shop and sell them I'm not sure I'll see how when I stamp them how they come out and I also did the coffee dye so I was thinking about putting maybe right up here and then I can stamp something on it I think I might do that just fray the ends the stringier the better I just knocked the camera. Oh, I have to get a baby wipe. My hands are sticking to everything. Now I'm going to decorate the front and then I'm going to put some um, paper, layers, collage some paper on um, the journaling part. And then I'll sew it all together. And hopefully, this time I'm going to try to position my um, camera and maybe I can sew on camera. I'm going to try. If I can't, then I'll just sew it and um, I'll, let, I'll let you see it after I sew it. And once that dries, then I think I'm going to put... Um, stamp something maybe words or something I'm not sure yet down here is missing something I don't know it's kind of cute down there oh maybe I could do a little cheesecloth maybe maybe and then just put that kind of yeah I like that Little cheese cloth. I do talk to myself. And yes, sometimes I do answer myself. Put that there. And then. Okay. I like that. I want to get a little bit of this. Oh, I should have inked. Darn it. I forgot. I should have. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Ah, maybe not. Just ink around here a little bit. Okay. And 
ink this little piece up. I just want to balance and balance that pattern out and maybe get a little green down here also. bit more green. There we go. From this little excess off. Okay. Um, the only thing I added was this little bit of scrapbooking paper and um, also inside uh, this pocket it's nicely coffee dyed so this little strip right here did not get coffee dyed I don't know why but it was white so I just put a little piece of ledger paper and inked up the edges and I'm gonna leave this plain because this is a nice large area to um, journal on and I'm just gonna cover the inside and the back so you can journal on it I will say, excuse me for the noise, because I live near a firehouse, so it's always an ambulance going down the street, so if you hear any outside noise, that's because I um, film in front of my window, and you can hear everything, so anyway, okay, let me cover this, and um, I have some coffee dye paper, some ledger paper, and let's glue this on. I like this. I like the darker, but because you're going to write on it, I'm going to use the other side, which is lighter. And I think that would be better. So you can write on it. I need a new page. That was really sticky. little hangover, but I'm going to cut that off. Cover this up, the straight line, and I'll just use that right here. Yeah, that's good. I hope everybody's having a good day. Put all my little scraps in here. Oh, it's not bad. Hmm. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Just a 
little short though. Let's see if I can find a bigger piece. It's too wrinkled. This won't work. No. It's a little bit too short. Just cut off the excess. It's a little bit too long. And I'm not gluing it, you know, perfect perfectly because like I said, as long as I get the center glued down, you know, um, I am going to sew. So that'll help it stay. really pretty paper. I um, copy dyed this. I have one plastic um, doily. It's kind of flower shaped doily and um, I coffee dyed it. So I think it came out really good. I think I'm just going to use just a little. I really don't want to. I don't think I'm going to use it. I think I'm going to use it as a journal page because I really I don't want to tear it. Okay, I won't use that. I'll use something different. I have some of this. Well, this is kind of cool. Okay, I'll use that. Okay. Now it has little um, dark spots. That's because I notice um, I use metal pans to coffee dye, and I think the coffee or the tea, either one, is causing um, it's like eating my metal trays up. So it has little like dark spots.
can you see? Oh, out of the out of the camera. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. Keep forgetting to ink up the edges. it up. Oops. Sticky, sticky. You know, I keep um, two sets of, of uh, scissors. I keep one that I use when I'm gluing because, you know, the scissors get all stucky and sticky and, you know. And then I keep another set that I only use for cutting paper, no glue. Okay. Almost finished the back. I just need one or two more pieces. Hmm. I would like to use this pink, but that won't match. That's really pretty. Won't match. that'll do it and then I can go sew and um, I'm gonna have to cut the camera off and then position the if I can I don't know if I can bring my um, sewing machine over if I can leave my sewing machine over then that'll be good we shall see little piece in the center that needs to be covered. Okay. I'm going to go and um, so around it. So let me show you. This is the front and then inside. Got your pocket. And then you flip it out and you got this. You can write on it 
And plus, if you wanted to, you know, decorate it yourself, you could do that too. I think that would be good, having three large spaces to journal on. All right, I'm going to go to sew. Let's see if um, I can move my sewing machine over. I'll be back. 